This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Swake Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College, and the venue at Five Points Farms. Here's Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Welcome to your Thursdays. Primetime forecast for Thursday, June 6, 2024. And we've got some showers and thunderstorms out there early on your Thursday morning. We'll tell you all about it coming up in this morning's edition of your primetime forecast brought to you by Genesis Weight Clinic in Roanoke, Alabama. Stop by and see Miss Melissa and the entire crew at Genesis Weight Clinic. You can give them a call at 334-863-LOSS. Or you can check them out online, genesisweightclinic.com. Best idea is just simply stop by. Right there, conveniently located in downtown Roanoke. Talk to Melissa and find out what they can do to keep you healthy at Genesis Weight Clinic. Also contact Jamie Dukas by clicking the link at the top of the video, scan the QR code, or call Jamie at 256-831-7770. Get your ducks in a row with Dukas and make sure that you have adequate insurance coverage. Not going to cost you a dime to talk to Jamie and find out how much he can save you and in a lot of cases, increase your coverage. Remember, Jamie Dukas for all of your insurance needs. Also, be sure you head over to our YouTube channel, click that subscribe button and the little bell because you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your notifications are going to be much better, and you can watch us on that big screen TV when we go live to cover severe weather. Well, like we did last night, though we didn't have severe weather, we did do some coverage for you because we had thunderstorms moving through the area. And that's going to happen again this morning. We are stuck in the soup. You notice how humid it is outside. Uh, Well, we have, um, last night I was showing you just ahead of those showers and thunderstorms, that little green line that was called a uh, a gust front or an outflow boundary. And well, that outflow boundary has just kind of laid out across East Alabama and West Georgia. We have a front moving our way out of the Northwest and showers are developing along that outflow boundary because it's providing lift for the storms. So we have another round of showers and thunderstorms headed our way this morning. Uh, Then as we get through the afternoon and into the overnight hours, we'll see some drier air move into the area. And right now it looks like uh, most of the weekend is going to be dry with drier air in place on Friday, Saturday, and even on Sunday, even though another front returns on Sunday evening. Uh, Maybe some showers Sunday night into Monday, and then we go back to a dry pattern for most of next week, I think. So uh, things are looking a little bit better on the weather front. You can see that there is a lightning risk today. It's going to be a limited risk across most of Alabama and Georgia, but some of these thunderstorms that will be moving through this morning and some scattered storms maybe in the heat of the day this afternoon could provide just enough to have some rumbles of thunder, could see some gusty winds, uh, though I would expect the severe limit uh, to be very marginal. And if we see any severe storms, they should be down around southeast Alabama, southwest Georgia, and that would be later on this afternoon. Taking a look at the tropics this morning, tropical cyclone activity is not anticipated during the next seven days. And we'll look at your current conditions at the venue at Five Points Farms. Currently 71.9 degrees. Wind out of the southwest at 2, gusting to 4. Humidity is 99%. The barometric pressure, 29.83. Dew point is 72. Yeah, boy, those storms last night uh, brought some heavy rain in a very uh, quick fashion. We're talking about almost, uh, well, almost a half inch of rain at the rain gauge at uh, the uh, venue at Five Points Farms there in 
northeastern Chambers County. High temperature of 89 or 83.9 degrees yesterday. And currently we have fair skies. Sunrise this morning at 530 and the sun sets this evening at 749 p.m. It's going to be a partly cloudy, uh, cloudy at times, sunny at times type day with scattered showers and thunderstorms. We'll have to deal with this line of showers that's headed our way this morning. And then after it moves through, um, then afternoon pop-up showers will pretty much be the primary focus as we go throughout the remainder of the day. And some of the showers could linger into the early overnight hours. But it's going to be warm. We're going to head for 85 this afternoon in Roanoke, 84 in Wadawi, 84 in Carrollton. We'll hit 86 in Alexander City and Valley Tops out at 86 degrees this afternoon. Six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Again, the primary feature is going to be this line of storms that will move through this morning, but we could see some redevelopment this afternoon. 85 will be your high today, down to 65 tonight. And again, not looking for widespread severe. We could have a rogue strong storm or two. If we see severe today, I think it will be down in the wiregrass area of Alabama. Then on Friday, as uh, drier air moves in, all this stuff moves out. It's going to be noticeably different when you get up tomorrow morning. We're looking at sunshine as we end the week. 87 will be the high down to 59 on Friday night, much cooler. On Saturday, sunshine, 87. Uh, then on Sunday, it's going to be a nice day. I mean, we're going to start the day sunny. We'll have some broken clouds by afternoon and maybe a rumble of thunder late in the day on Sunday. Temperature is going to get awfully close to 90 degrees by Sunday afternoon. And then just a 20 to 30% chance of showers on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, but mostly we're going to be dry as we get into the middle part of next week. A very typical summertime weather pattern for the start of the um, second week of June 2020. 24. Let's look at the Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar. Here comes another line of thunderstorms. This is almost identical to what the radar looked like when we went to bed last night. We had that line moving into East Alabama. Well, here comes another one. Uh, right now, you'll see we have no weather watches, warnings, or statements out there. So this stuff is well below severe limits. And we really don't have much lightning output. I mean, we do have... A few strokes of lightning down there in Chilton County, just south of Clanton. And then um, it's moving into Talladega County at this hour. Childersburg, uh, Sylacauga, you're up next. Uh, Talladega, you've got some showers moving in. But again, just not much in the way of lightning output. And that's one of the indicators we look at. I mean, in this particular frame, we're only talking about uh, maybe five or six lightning strikes in the last three minutes. So this is not uh, anywhere close to being severe. Uh, you're going to get a lot of heavy rainfall with this, maybe a little gusty wind. It's not very wide, so it's not going to last very long. Uh, the trend here is, though, this has been continuing to build slowly over the last couple of hours. Uh, so it's possible we could see the lightning pick up a little bit on this and uh, it could be pretty breezy and maybe stormy for 15, 20, 30 minutes as this line moves through. It's moving rather slow, so it's going to take a minute for it to get over into Clay County and Randolph and you folks in Alexander City, probably about 30 to 40 minutes away. And then even Chambers County, longer than that, uh, maybe a good hour or so. Take note of the time of this recording. It's 5.43 a.m. Central. So if you're watching this, you know, much after 6 a.m. Central, then this is probably not going to be valid. It's going to be outdated. But just understand, you do have a lot of thunderstorms that will move through East Alabama and West Georgia uh, within the next hour or so. And uh, then we'll go back to a partly cloudy day with occasional pop-up showers and thunderstorms from time to time. Uh, we're not anticipating anything of any great significance. Sure hope that you uh, click the link at the top of the video and head over to our weather store and take a look at our coffee cup, our baseball cap, our t-shirts, and make a purchase. Part of the proceeds come back to Dr. Don's Weather. 
and helps us continue to be able to bring you the weather forecast every day and go live during times of severe weather. So check us out online. Again, the link is at the top of this video. If you're on Facebook, it's at the bottom of the video. If you're on YouTube, head over to our weather store and help us out. Every chance you get, that helps uh, support us here at Dr. Don's Weather. Hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. We'll do all of this again tomorrow morning here on Dr. Don's Weather. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery. Dr. Don's Weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Weight Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.